I, Professor Florence Banku Obi, in my capacity as returning officer for this election, hereby announce the suspension of the process of collation of results and declaration of a winner until the supplementary election is held in the 326 polling units in the Hiala local government area of the state. This Anambra state, the Lord has already raised the banner up and God said victory shall be given. And God said victory shall be given. God said the victory shall be given. The enemy, the devil, will no longer have his way because God is already in control and God is taking absolute control of everything to save life and to save soul, to preserve the people and to cause his light to shine and darkness not to shine anymore because darkness is the enemy of the light of God. So a number of states, the people praying, continue to pray your prayer. God has already had the prayer. And God is already busy working for the state of Anambra. And while God is working for the state of Anambra, God is taking the Anambra state to come out of this very valley. Valley of the shadow of death. Valley of pains. Valley of crying. The valley of weeping. The valley of death. God is taking the state out of the valley of death. Because God himself and himself alone is already taking charge. This charge that God is taking is a thing of joy. So Anambra state the Lord is with you and the Lord is already protecting you. The Lord is already taking over. The Lord is already stretching his hands and God is busy working things out. Whether the devil like it or not, God is already giving the Anambra state their victory and the victory shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. Now, the people that are already contesting in the election, they should all seek what is called the face of God. When I say seek the face of God, they should all learn how to allow God to lead their path. Whether you win or you did not win, this one win, this one did not win, whether this one or this one, let everybody seek first what is called the peace of the country, the peace of the people, the peace of the people, whatever you are going into leadership for, if it is not for the people, you have no agenda, you have nothing. So the people are, should be the primary concentration of everybody that is in authority. What is the people looking for? What is the people asking for? What the people ask for must be what you must give it to them. When you give the people what they ask for, then you'll be surprised that all the problems and all the, the things you think is a trouble will all vanish away. Give the people what the people ask for. Give the people what the people are asking for. Give the people what the people are asking for. Number one, it has to do with good governance. It has to do with equality. It has to do with all everybody being equal, allowing everybody, the son of the rich and the son of the poor, the child of the rich and the child of the poor, should be able to have every common amenities together. You see, all the common amenities should be had together. So these are the things that the people are praying for and people are asking for. I don't think the people are asking much. But whatever the people ask for, when it's given to them, there will be peace, there will be joy, there will be happiness. But when the people are asking what the people ask for is not given to them and you think the people will continue to clap their hands, the people will not clap their hands. I see the people, instead of clapping their hands, I see the people now being lawless and disobedient. But let the people what they ask for, be given to them so that everything will be okay. We are praying, we are in the verge of prayer, and we know that God has taken his way. We know that God has taken over. We know that God is in this battle. We know that this battle is no more our own. This battle has entered into the hand of God. possibility, the God who is able to do all things because it's a season of prophecy, the season of the hand of the Lord, the season of the glory of God, the season of the manifestation of the finger of God. The finger of God was what destroyed the tower of Babel. The finger of God is what opened the prison house and bring out Paul and Silas. The, the, the finger of God is also the finger that went into the prison and bring Peter out. So the finger of God is at work and the will of God must be done. And that which God has said definitely will come to pass. Thing that I've written, I am here to spell them out. 
And as I begin to spell them out, every area of your life that you need the touch of God or encounter, may the Lord arise and begin to give you that encounter, begin to bless you, begin to favor you, begin to do a miracle in your life and begin to turn things around for you. I pray that you will be among the people that will experience the dramatic move of the Holy Ghost to experience the power, the past power. You see, we are in the season of prophecy to pray and to use prophetic to correct things. Now, I'm saying that a place where they recognize a prophet, a prophet of God has the grace and the power to change the hand of the clock. Now, in the land of Israel, the people of Israel were crossing over to their promised land and they were faced with different kinds of war. A lot of war was on their way. So as they were faced with war and a lot of war was confronting them and they were so afraid, what happened? The Bible said that the sun always, when it goes down, they begin to defeat the Israelites. And when the sun comes up, the Israelites begin to win the battle. And when the people take note of the sun, that the sun has been the source of their power and the source of their victory, what did they do? Moses lifted up his hand. And when he lifted up his hand, the sun will stand still and they will continue to overcome the enemies. And when he brings down his hand, the enemy will overcome them. And when the people have seen that Moses is the only person that has the grace to lift up his hand and stop the, the sun from moving, they all rallied around him. They hand his hand over and they held his hand and Moses lifted up his hand and the victory came. Now, if you have organization or you have a union or you are in a country or you are in whatever level you are and you lack a prophet that sees the true prophet of God. You lack a true prophet of God that can tell us things that are in the realm of the spirit and we begin to see them in the realm of physical. That means you have not started. And this is what will make people to continue to mark time. This is what will make a country not to advance. This is what will make a country not to benefit or become who they want to be. I've given several prophecies right here of what is upon the face of the earth. And the Lord continued to tell me that right here on the face of the earth, there is going to be a lot of challenges in the future. And these challenges, if the people that are in authority now do not harness people that are seen as a threat or people that are seen as nobody or people that are seen as useless or people that are seen as people that are not serious or people that want to destroy or whatever if they don't harness these people and do things and put things all right with them future is coming i'm seeing the future coming and i'm seeing what is about to open a challenge that is coming that will be bigger than everybody to handle so I pray that God will help every one of us. If the Israelites can discover and held on to the hand of Moses and they continue to overcome their enemies, I think the people should understand and hold on the hand of Moses for the victory to be actualized. When the victory is actualized, everybody will rejoice and everybody will dance and dance and celebrate in the name of Jesus Christ. And so today, wherever you are watching me, I am going to be speaking the word of prophecy, especially in the area of your life, the area of your business, the area of whatever you do. Don't forget that this program has been selected for what is called Explosion Before December. We are in a season that whether the devil like it or not, every one of us are going to be partakers of the blessings of God that are made in the future. Some of you have been praying for money, breakthrough, praying for healing, praying for deliverance. Whatever you are praying for in this program, God is set to bring an answer and solution to everything you are praying for. Everything you are asking for, everything you are imagining, everything you are thinking about, God is bringing a strong solution to remedy everything in the name of Jesus. God is not a man that is should lie. Whatever he says he will do, that is what he will do. He will not turn his back. He will not say no. He will not abandon his people. He will not forsake those that trust in him. So we must all continue to praise God and to glorify God in Jesus' name. <laughs>
Yeah, she back again. 